Hey guys, Jagger Collector here, and I am coming out of my one week no YouTube video hibernation with the Excalibur 3 pack by Marvel Legends. This is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, so you can only get it on Hasbro Pulse, which I absolutely despise, hate. All those words apply to Hasbro Pulse for so many reasons, but we'll get into that later. It includes um, Captain Britain, you get Shadow Cat, or the Kitty Pride, and then you also get Megan, or Megan, but I'm going to call her Megan, because that's what I believe it is. Uh, now, I really do like this set. I paid a pretty penny here in Canada, in Canada just because I... Uh, I got it from a local seller because I hate ordering from Hasbro Pulse. I paid, whew, listen to this, 135 Canadian dollars for this set. Yikes, yikes, yikes. But, um, you know, I actually do think it's worth it. Um, I really do like these figures. I, you know, at first they kind of just seem like reuses, but I've genuinely not put them down since I got it yesterday. They come with a lot of great accessories, but without further ado, let's get into the review. So the packaging for this Excalibur 3-pack is very, very cool. And I honestly love all the X-Men stuff that the Marvel Legends team does. Very, very excited for that X-Force 3-pack that I will be getting next week. Obviously, you can see Marvel's Megan, Captain Britain, and Marvel's Shadow Cat, and then the X-Men logo on the front. Blue, my mom said, why did you buy Hot Wheels? Because, like, it, she just kind of glanced at the package. But I'm like, no, 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 this is Marvel Legends. Um... You can see the X logos at the top. My box is a little danged up, which, you know, whatever. Uh, and then, obviously, Ryan got his way with all his trading cards on the back. We got the Shadow Cat, the uh, Captain Britain, which is the wrong outfit, which is kind of weird. And the uh, Megan, or Megan. I did notice that she does have these fingers, which everyone was saying that she we wish that would have been included with her. Instead, we just get these... If you're a female and you have powers, this is what you get. These uh, these hands. That's the only hands you always and will always get is these hands. And I don't like that. I wish we would have gotten... If we would have gotten those hands and a different head for... Or hair for Katie Pride, this would have been a perfect set. But we'll get into that once we get into the review. I'll go over each bio really quickly. So Marvel Shadow Cat. Obviously, you can see all the information there, which I won't read. Shadow Cat has the mutant ability to phase her molecules, letting her pass through walls and allowing things she touches to do the same. So basically, just Kitty Pride, Captain Britain, Brian Braddock, Braddock, using his super strength, flying ability, and courage, Captain Britain fights for justice throughout the world and in other dimensions as well. Ooh, uh, Marvel's Megan. Uh, Megan. <laughs> That's her alias, Megan. Megan is a mystical mutant meta metamorph able to change her shape at will. Very, very uh, brief bio for her. The Excalibur logo. This is very, very cool because I remember all the rumors of what this could be. And if I'm being honest... It's not the greatest execution, not because of the figures, even though they could have been a little better, but I really do wish this would have been a five pack. I would, I wish they would have switched this around with that X-Men five pack or, or the Wolverine five pack because there's, we, some of those we didn't really need. Like we did, I mean, some people want another Omega Red, but most of us already have it. And if we did a five pack, we could have gotten a re-release of Nightcrawler, which is a very desirable figure right now. And the Rachel figure, which we hopefully will get eventually. But that is way more than enough time talking about the god darn, uh, gosh darn box. So let's get into the figures. I'll start with all the accessories. So Kitty Pride comes with, of course, her, or I'm going to call her Shadow Cap, her two power hands. We already went over those. And then two fists for a little bit of variety. Megan comes with a fist and an open hand and the opposites which have some really cool paint on them, which I'm a big fan of. And then uh, we also get a Lockheed with Shadow Cat. And then Mr. Braddock is included with this awesome head sculpt. We get Excalibur, which is very, very cool to finally have in Marvel Legends. And this awesome bearded head sculpt. Now, I just, I do believe this head sculpt was um, used in majority of the comics with this team. I'm not too familiar with them, but I'm slowly starting to learn more. Uh, I just don't know how common this head sculpt was, and if it, if, I, my question is, what head sculpt should I have him displayed with? Because I do have the old Captain Britain, which I really did like, but I didn't entirely know at the time that it was part of, like, Excalibur, because it was in an Avengers wave, um, 
but definitely like this figure a lot more. But let me know which head sculpt you like more in the comments below and which one I should display them with. I'm, I don't know. I'm 50, 50. Uh, and then of course Excalibur, which is awesome. It's, it does look a little cheap. I wish it was more of a chromium, uh, silver, but you know, that's what paints for. You get a lot of cool texturing on it, which is great. And then he comes with, uh, the opposite hands that he already has on. He has a grip, two grips and two fists. So that is the accessories. Let's start off with, um, uh, Captain Britain. Forgot his name there for a sec. So I do believe this is the Hyperion body mold. Just hmm. I actually am wrong. Okay, what? Am I? Am I just seeing things? Oh, hmm. Is this a new like I? I was, like, feeling this figure earlier, playing with it, and it didn't feel entirely like the Hyperion body mold. This one has more of, like, a broader chest, like it's more puffed out. Um, I think this is the Thor Odinson. I watched the Foosh video, but I didn't know that those were different molds. Huh, that's interesting, because he doesn't have the peg holes in, on the back. Yeah, it is different. That is very, very interesting. Let me know which other figures this body mold uh, was used with um, in the comments below because I'm very curious. But I really do enjoy what they did with these lines because they didn't just stop it. They made it go through the joint, which I very much appreciate the effort there. And then, of course, the line here, when you move it, it kind of does like switch, but you can get it into some poses where, look, now it's going that way. But then you have this line going down. But mainly most of the time you'll have them displayed like this but other than that obviously it's a fairly simple figure there's just a line that cuts it off where you go from all this british color to the white and then the blue boots but very very cool and very very simple but that's what captain britain looks like and this is exactly what i would picture a figure of him being so very big fan of it that is all i really have to say about that figure i guess i'll put the uh head on for you all to see very stiff to get on there but does look very good as well but we'll get into the articulation of all the figures afterwards now let's go on to megan which oh she looks very happy she looks familiar to me she looks like an actress but i oh, i forgot drew barrymore kind of looks like drew barrymore that might just be me obviously they teased this hair which we all knew it was megan because they showed it with the excalibur and the lockheed but this figure is very very good there's really no problems with it minus just the hand thing uh obviously she has her feet which is accurate to the comics she does not have shoes um and then just be careful with this head sculpt because it is very heavy and it's obviously or i hope not you're not going to be taking this off a lot of the time but if you do just be careful because it is very heavy and that might start to kind of affect the joint and nobody wants a tear but like i said with captain britain this is a very simple figure mostly reuse um but you know some new paint apps but this hair is absolutely insane like an amazing sculpt not as big as medusa but very very good nonetheless they did a 10 out of 10 job with this hair that's all I really have to say about Megan. On the other hand, Kitty Pride hair. Uh, yeah, no. No. Even I, who am not like a huge fan, can see why this isn't uh, accurate. Like, look at this. Like, why didn't we get this like super curly, puffed out look? Like, it, that would. I don't know. I just feel like they didn't put all their effort into this figure. It's a good figure still, but you know, I just wish they would have given her uh, her that puffy curlier hair but let's not talk about that and then here is of course the shadow cat figure which is of course simple like the others but that's what they're based off of there weren't the craziest designs they were just fabric very very cool lots of blues different shades this belt thing or i don't know what you would call it but kind of just floats around you can get it in different poses but that is a very beautiful head sculpt like even if this wasn't based off the character this is one of the better female head sculpts it does look like natalie portman like the foosh said um but really not a lot more to go over with this figure she does have lockheed which you can do whatever you want with you can put it around her neck which uh it takes a little bit of you know adjusting and fidgeting to get it 
perfect, but you can get it there. You can get it on her arm like I had in the thumbnail, kind of like this. Um, but there's lots you can do with the Lockheed. There's a closer look at it. I don't think I... It's just a reuse of the Juggernaut Wave one and the one that came with Magic. But, you know, cool nonetheless. But that is all I really have to say about these figures. Let's get into their articulation. We are going to start off with uh, Captain Britain's articulation. So the head articulation is very good. It can go up that high, it can go down low. Uh, the beard kind of affects it, but that is not present with the other head sculpt. Not a lot of tilt because this is an older body mold. Uh, and then, of course, you get your tilt or your full 360, I mean. Um, but, you know, pretty simple head articulation, but gets the job done. Arms will go out that far. Actually, they'll go out a little further. Just be careful. Don't want to chip any of the paint. Uh, full 360, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which ugh, kind of weird here. More, oh, yeah, it works. It's good. This kind of gets in the way. And then all the hands go up, down, and full 360. And then the app crunch goes down that far, back that much. Ooh, love that click. Full 360 at the waist. Uh, legs will kick very, very high up, like very high. And then he will do the splits. Can't, well, you can kick back more than most figures. He has an upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, which work, even though he's a more uh, muscular figure. Uh, and then he has a boot swivel. Ankles go up, down, and of course, ankle pivot, but fairly standard articulation for Captain Britain. Sorry about your ankle there, mate. Stay. Now we'll do Megan. Um, so the head can look forward <laughs> that far is very funny uh and then just you know because of basic science and physics it doesn't look back and you can't complain about that because that's the character unless this was just fake hair hey man i mean it is fake but you know what i mean like actual hair you can't get that going back that far so i don't care it works um obviously that was going to be a hindrance there's lots of tilt though uh and then you can get it full 360 but i'm not going to uh and then the arms will go out that far they will go full 360 single jointed elbows kind of don't like that uh and then it, all the hands go up down and of course full 360 and then the ab crunch goes forward that much back that far to the side to the side and of course full 360 but i'm not gonna do it i'm just very scared of wrecking these figures and i paid a lot for them so i'm not planning on wrecking them anytime soon legs will kick forward that far they will go back a little bit. They don't do the splits that well. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, and the ankles do go up, down, and of course, ankle pivot. That is Megan's articulation. And lastly, the shadow cat articulation. Uh, the head will go down that far. Obviously not back because of the hair, like we went over with the Megan. And a little bit of tilt, you know, not the best, but it works. Uh, and then of course, full 360, but like I said, not going to do it. Arms go out. Wow, very, very far. Uh, full 360, single jointed elbows, and then the wrists go up, down, and of course, roll through 60 on all the hands. And then the ab crunch goes down that far. Back, side, side, full 360. Legs will kick forward that far. Now, these are the smaller female teenage legs, which are a little bit fragile, so just be careful when posing them. Kick forward that far. Back, not at all. Splits, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot swivel, ankles go up, down, and of course, ankle pivot. That is the articulation. Comparison and final thoughts time. So the only two comparisons I really care about, and most of you probably care about, is the old Captain Britain comparison, which this was a darker and more shinier red. I do really like this figure. This does, um, I guess, hold the test of time. It still looks good, it, you know? These look like they came out in the same year. There's nothing here that kind of shows that it's older. Lots of detail still on the arms. You know, good figure still. And then, of course, we can't forget Nightcrawler, which I do have, but I know a lot of people don't. And with this three-pack, there will be an increase in demand for this figure. So that's my point and why they should have just made a five-pack, got it out of the way, and then not had to worry about Excalibur for years, if not ever. But that is the comparisons. So, my final thoughts on this three-pack is, it is very, very good. There is, of course, a few flaws. The only two flaws, really, are um, the hair. I wish it was more curly and more puffy. And then those fingers, I wish they were the two thing that she kind of uses when, while she's flying. 
And then obviously this was probably not worth how much I paid, but I don't know. I don't like ordering from Hasbro Pulse. It is a lot cheaper on there, but still, I, I believe it's available still, but I think it was 60 US, but... If you want it, I would go get it because this is not going to be on their website for a lot longer because X-Men stuff tends to sell very fast. But overall, I'm going to give this set an 8 out of 10. What the uh, They had a job to do with Excalibur here, and they did a pretty good job. Obviously, it's missing a few members, but that's not any problem related to these figures. Um, I guess I'll do each of the figures. So the Captain Britain, obviously, I was thinking maybe they could have used the Omega Red, but... I do love this body mold on Captain Britain, and I'm going to give this Captain Britain a 9.5 out of 10. I really don't have problems. He does have a little bit of problem gripping the hand, or the sword. Not really, but, like, it's just, it's, like, very loose in there. So, just be aware of that. Uh, the Megan, I'm going to give her an 8.5. Very, very good. Near perfect. This head sculpt is perfect. Uh, just those, the hand problems. And uh, she does have a hard time standing, which is, once again, basic science kids and then the kitty pride i'm gonna give a i'm gonna give a 6.5 out of 10 i that hair really does bother me and i just feel like they didn't put in all the effort that they could have some of the colors seem wrong but that might just be me let me know your thoughts though in the comments below 8.5 in total i want to know what you think if you got this set if you're planning on getting it and i have been jagger collector thank you for watching my video and of course i will see you in my next action figure review Bye, guys.